All right, guys, welcome back. You know, as as um, as nasty as this virus, this malware is, there's nothing worse than a personal virus, a medical virus. I caught something last week and starting to get my voice back, and it just goes to show nothing is 100% secure, as it were. I take vitamins, doctor checkups, eat right. Anyway, getting back to this virus, thank you for your comments. I feel a little better today, so I figure I would do a follow-up to this, being how important this is, especially if you know very little about computer viruses and how they work. Uh, first of all, thank you. Just a quick shout-out to someone suggested I check out um, a video. Um, where are you? Yeah, uh, Steve. Steve Wheeler. Hi, Steve. Thank you. You suggested I check out a channel called Britic, Britic, Britech. Sorry, sir. I think it's Brightech09 uh, about uh, that, that that particular type of malware. I, don't, I know nothing about the channel except that particular video. A very good video, I might add. In fact, an awesome video. Uh, even uh, even the PC, uh, you know, even PC dummies can figure that out. So uh, Toss Today certifies that particular video as it were, dummies proof as it were. So thank you for that suggestion. Very good information there. Getting back to this here, all right, someone had asked how you can get this. From what I understand, this is normally through um, an infected email attachment. Uh, you get uh, unknown email, unwelcome email, unsolicited email, and it could be something that says uh, your package has been delivered, uh, you know, the package is on hold. Um, you know your bill or something something that just does something that you don't recall something that is unwelcome and something that looks strange in my opinion if unsure delete it now what I mean by something an email that is unwelcome uh, spam I guess typical spam is something that is unwelcome something that you expect or something that is welcomed is um, an example would be if you go to uh, if if you go to all right well for an example if you go to the Total OS Today shop website there's a spot there that says uh, if you would like updates on posts just you know type in your email and you will and you will receive a, a notification from the Toss Today website that's something that you've asked for and that's welcome but something that you don't know nothing about on the email side. Me at least, and I, I do get those emails myself. I don't recall this. Goodbye, delete, and you're done with. Another way to get this is, um, I guess, to, through, uh, shall I say, unfriendly websites. If you're not sure about the website, just don't go there. Uh, I suppose you can get it th uh, sh through shared uh, infected um, USB drives, portable drives. I suppose that's another way. But the primary, the primary way to way to get this, from what I understand, now I haven't tested it, and I have no desire to test this virus. One personal virus this year is enough for me. Um, the number one way to get this, the best way or the worst way to get this, as it were, is through uh, email infected email attachments. So be careful for whatever email that you don't want. Uh, just delete it to be safe. All right. Prevention. Uh, make sure, and someone had asked me what antivirus I, I, I switch back and forth. I currently have, uh, what do I have? I think this is, yeah, this is Microsoft Security Essentials. I also like Avast, uh, Komodo, Antivir. There's some others, but uh, if, if, if you go with the top names, you should be okay, but that's what I use now. So as far as prevention goes, you are the best preventer. Make sure your computer, the operating system itself is up to date through the Microsoft updates or if you're using, you know, Apple, Mac updates, you know, whatever. So make sure that the OS is up to date. Make sure you have up to date anti malware. And all those all those I mentioned are very good. Um, back up back up all your important stuff. Now you know, I don't back up everything because it just isn't necessary. I did make a backup of my uh, operating system right after I bought my new computer. I think it was three or four disks. Now my particular computer, um, this Lenovo, has um, a restore partition that is hidden away so it cannot 
be infected hopefully and basically if I have to I can access that after during boot I believe it's hit F10 or enter to access that hidden partition to restore my computer now it will erase everything and bring it back to uh, back to factory specs back to as it was fresh out of the box but the number one thing really is prevention it always has it always will be you back up everything I back up on multiple external hard drives if you are new to this or don't know what to buy I'll have a link below to the total OS today shop on recommended external drives ways to back up your system now you like I said you don't have to back up every single thing that's certainly your decision I have two external hard drives and then about a half a dozen USB sticks that's how I back up stuff so back up everything first you have to create restore disks if you can if your computer is capable of that um, I don't know you'll have to go to the manufacturers website sometimes if you buy a new Windows PC you might get a friendly reminder hey we recommend you back up your system at least mine did that once I did it I'm good to go and I have those restore disks a DVD stashed away in case of an emergency so back up on disks back up on external drives update your antivirus malware and by the way you cannot you shouldn't run two antivirus software uh, stuff or two antivirus programs at the same time they, they will be in conflict pick one whatever say you pick a vast now and maybe six months from now you wanted to try something else like I do that's fine just delete a vast and go to something else and vice versa there are free versions so uh, let's see where was I yeah uh, Back up your files on multiple external drives. Back up clean files, not files that are infected. No, I'm not trying to be funny. Again, I'm assuming there may be some newbies out there who are not sure what's going on. If, if, if you go out and buy a brand new external hard drive, chances are there's, there's nothing on it. That's a clean hard drive. Okay? And make sure, and if you buy a brand new computer, then your timing is perfect. You know, you, you can create those restore disks everything is up to date so back up whatever you know videos family photos music you know what I mean back it up on at least two external sources and it can be you know two external hard drives or one big external hard drive and maybe a couple USB sticks like like what I do so back up and back up again up-to-date operating system okay that includes you know Microsoft as I stated or whatever you are using and up-to-date anti-malware shield or shields depending you know which one you are using if you do all that chances are you, you are going to be in good shape in terms of prevention now it's not a hundred percent really nothing is but I do believe there is a way to make it as close to a hundred percent as possible if you use a Linux computer now if we were to speculate that you know Windows 7 is 99% secure you know meaning you've done everything you can I personally believe that a Linux PC is even better than that 99.9% .9 secure now no such thing as a hundred percent but problems that are you know prone that Windows is prone to I mean it is the most popular operating system in the world whether you like it or not that is irrelevant it's the most popular therefore it is the most attacked it makes sense if Linux let's say Linux Mint was the most popular and not Windows if it was reversed then Linux Mint would get attacked and not Windows that's just the nature of the business but if you have a Linux PC I have multiple Linux PCs I prefer to dual boot strictly my my way of doing things but if you buy a Linux uh, PC or download a distro a distribution uh, or buy a PC such such as Ubuntu. If if you are completely new to this and don't know how to install Linux and are curious about, you know, getting a, a Linux based uh, PC, definitely check these out. There are some choices here. I will have links below in the show notes. If if you do most of your stuff on the web, this would be perfect. Actually, Chromebooks might be even better. You know, you know, maybe for college students who do almost everything on the web and maybe don't need a disk drive. I'm just speculating here, but if you're running a Linux-based uh, PC, a Linux-based operating system, you're not going to, at least not yet, you will not get infected with this uh, crypto locker. And 
most of you know, my number one reason why I use um, Linux is because of security. Now, there are other good reasons, but you can't beat not 100% security, but close to that 100%. You really can't beat that, and, and I don't care what computer you have or what you are running. So consider you know, a Linux PC if you don't want to get infected with viruses like you can in Windows. All right, well, I think that's it for uh, this topic. If you have any other suggestions or tips, uh, please uh, let me know. Let us know. As I stated, I'll have links below in the show notes for more information. But the number one thing that you can do is back up a clean computer first just to be safe. If you do that, you will avoid the hassle if, if you get infected with this of spending hours, literally hours, hours to clean your computer of the virus your 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 files are still locked yes you you can try some suggestion as system restore and something else that was mentioned but that doesn't always work and that means you just spent an extra half hour hour trying to do something i wouldn't do it i mean if i got hit with this honestly i have my backup i'm i am just going to re restore or reinstall my system that's 100 percent for sure I stated before, nothing is 100%. That, reinstalling your system from a clean, original partition or drive, that is definitely 100%. All right, thank you so much for watching and listening to my uh, sore throat. I, I do appreciate it. Again, if you have any tips or suggestions, post them below in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe and share with your friends. As always, I, I like to end these, whether you know, you are a Windows or Linux user. Thank you for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your virus-free future. Take care.